Greetings, good people. It is time for a treat. The curtain is rising. Please take a seat. Relax with a cuppa. Get ready to smile. For we have a pantomime, Wonderbird style. A show full of laughter, love, and affection. As long as you maintain your Wi Fi connection. Full of surprises, disguises, and fun. Innuendo, you ask? <laughs> I may give you one. I'm the good fairy and also narrator. It seems I have two roles. I'll invoice you later. Who are you going to be? And don't argue over the juiciest parts. Oh, you see, now there's another innuendo <laughs> just on the house. <laughs> Can I just say, throughout my distinguished theatrical career, I've always chosen roles that have completely challenged me, completely against type. So, with your blessing, I'd like to play the wicked queen. You've got my vote. No argument from me. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Do you think I have it in me? I can't really tell from the camera angle, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, what about Dee and Debbie? What are you going to play? You know, we do need a beautiful princess. Oh, well, seeing as the princesses are normally blonde, I think I should be Princess Debbie. Hang on a second. I'm also blonde. Yes, darling, but with the greatest respect in the world, princesses aren't that blonde. <laughs> Oh, she is such a cow. I'm confused. Have we actually started? Yes. yes. So who am I going to be? Well, it's obvious. You're going to have to play a man. Charming. Exactly. Prince Charming. Mm -hmm. Can you grow a moustache? Oh, you know she can. Now, stop it, ladies. Look, this is the magic moment of us all. I'm going to say those brilliant words. What are they? Yes. Abracadabra! <laughs> this is going to tickle the life out of me. Well, at least you'll die happy, love. Now, let's crack on. With what can barely be described as a plot. <laughs> anyway, bring out the bunting and strike up the band. A wedding is happening in Wonderbird's land. Tomorrow, Prince Charming and Princess Deb will meet at the altar and finally be wed. Yes, it's true. I'm soon to marry the handsome man of my dreams and live happily ever after. <sighs> it's all arranged, my sweet. A real celebration with singing and dancing and, of course, cocktails. Ooh. How absolutely fabulous. I adore cocktails. And believe you me, I could tell you a few. Excuse <laughs> me. You're not invited. We don't want you there. Stealing our wedding gifts and fingering the volivants. <laughs> How dare you? Yes. It's true, we want our special day filled with love and laughter and not marred by a wicked old queen. Sorry, is that a cue for Biggins? No, he's later, dear. Oh, well, anyway, listen up, you sickening sweethearts. If I'm not invited to your woeful wedding, I shall stop it happening altogether. As wicked queen of Wonderbird Land, I hereby pass a law that the marriage license will now cost one million pounds. <laughs> what? What? Quite simple. You either cough up or split up. <laughs> Outrageous. You can't just pass a new law to get what you want. Really, darling? Have you not heard of the Conservative Party? <laughs> Well, this is a disaster. Where on earth can we find that sort of money by tomorrow? 
You could always go on who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> Will I have to come face to face with Jeremy Clarkson? I never said it would be easy. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do? Good fairy, can you spare any change? Well, I wish I could help, I really do. But I mean, unfortunately, I've spent all my money on Christmas. Every penny has gone to a fairy cake, fairy lights. And to be honest, I'm facing fairy liquidation. Oh, uh, fair enough. Oh. Is there anyone out there who can help? Who's this? Why, it's me, Linda Lusardi, the lovely Lolly Lender. Curse it! Linda Lusardi, the lovely Lolly Lender. Oh, oh. crikey! Oh! You're quite a mouthful. Yes, I most certainly am. Don't you think, do you think you can help us in this hour of need? Yes, of course. Well, lovebird loans are my speciality. Typically, APR 85%. And if you don't keep up the repayments, your house will be at risk. Thank you, I think. Well, it looks as though the day has been saved just in the nick of time. Sorry, but no, 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 no. A love bird loan is not allowed. I'm afraid you're just too late. Too late? What are you talking about? Check the script, darling. You should have appeared by page three. Bye. <laughs> well, it looks like you're back to square one. <laughs> I've run out of ideas. Did you actually have any ideas? No, not really. There is one person we could try. Who? 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 Well, seeing as this is a traditional panto and we want a traditional wedding. Yes? Well, it is traditional for the father of the bride to pay no. for the ceremony. You mean daddy? Indeed. I do mean Debbie, daddy. Damn it. I, I, I mean, I do mean Daddy Debbie. Oh dear, well, Daddy can be difficult. He can't be more difficult than my last line. Oh. <laughs> Surely it's worth a try. Do it, dearest darling. Do dial up Daddy. What is it with all the double Ds? We missed a trick with Linda Lusardi. Okay, I'll bring him now. I just hope that he hasn't been Oh, hello, Daddy. It's your darling daughter, Debbie. I've got some wonderful Wonderbird news. I'm getting married tomorrow. What? Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> I don't have to pay for you anymore. Well, whoever the poor sod is, pass on my... Eternal thanks. Enjoy the volumes and just remember, marriage isn't a word, it's a sentence. <laughs> oh, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Sorry. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It looks like you've come up completely empty handed again. You best take that wedding dress back to the charity shop. <laughs> You are the meanest, rudest woman I have ever met. Prince <laughs> Charming, what about you? Anyone in your family you could try? Mm. I suppose I could try my mother. Ah. But, yes, but to be honest, I haven't heard my mother's voice in years. Oh, family disagreement that turned into resentment and ultimately disownment. No, she can't turn on her microphone. But to save my marriage, I'll give it a shot. Thank you. Right. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Oh, God, what did I tell you? You need to turn the microphone on. Click the little microphone up icon. It's down at the bottom. It's down at the bottom underneath. Just, just under the toolbar. 
It's under the tool bar. <laughs> it's pathetic. <laughs> it looks like a microphone with a line through it. Are you sure you want to marry into this family? I mean, a child could work it out. But we haven't got any children. We should probably keep it that way. It's enough to make you go... Oh, mother. There <laughs> you are. <laughs> mother, are you all right? Mother! You told me I was going to play your youngest. Sorry, darling. You've been recast. Bad show business. Well, if that's right, I'm going to tell you to s*** this up. Well, she seems nice. Sorry about that. Hang on. Oh, no, I think she's coming back. We've got an incoming call. Oh, it's Biggins. Hooray. Hello, girls. Lovely to see you. Oh, dear, darling, you could have shaved. Biggins, what are you doing here? Well, you know me, I can sip out a panto from a hundred miles. This is such a thrill. The king of innuendo himself. Actually, I'm not a big fan of innuendos, but I, I do like to slip one in every now and then. Well, we are thrilled to have you on our little show. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm reading the script in Braille. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. Damn right, something bad is about to happen. Sorry, Biggins, but you'll have to go. What? Why? Too many people in our pantomime bubble remember the rule of six. Oh, but there's only five of us. I know, but Sherry's playing two parts. <laughs> so that makes six. I'm still allowed in. Actually, it makes seven. I'm two-faced. <laughs> Sorry, darling, but we're full. Bye bye, Biggins. No, wait. I'm a national treasure. <gasps> Can't believe you just pulled the plug on Biggins. Oh, don't be so dramatic, darling. It's not as if he's on life support. <laughs> on income support, maybe. <laughs> you really will stop at nothing to keep me and my beautiful bride apart. I know. If there's one thing I love. It's seeing people desperate and unhappy. That's why I watch EastEnders. <laughs> well, it looks as though I've beaten you all. <laughs> Can I please make my victory speech now? I'm fed up with all these celebrity non-entities gate-crashing my party. I think it's rather wonderful. I mean, we've gone Christmas cameo crazy. You just don't like people having fun. Oh, shut your fairy cake off. I've got enough to do without you getting lippy. Did someone mention lippy? Oh, for the love of panstick. Max Factor? He most certainly did not. Oh, go and wash your wig. You really are awful. Oh, thank you. But shut up. Now, back to my soliloquy. Incoming! Ah! Yeah, who's this? Who's this? Are you... Uh, uh, is this the, is the meeting for the women with too much wine on their hands? Huh? Actually, it could be. Sorry, darling. I, I think you've got the wrong Zoom meeting. Try next door. You might find... Listen. I can hear the screw top. That's just Bumante. Anyone? I haven't got a clue. I've been interrupted for the last time. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, my glorious, victorious speech. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me enormous pleasure. What happened? Oh, I don't know. She seems to have frozen. Good fairy, is she buffering? I can't tell from her camera angle. Quick, let's get Biggins back. Good idea. Oh, who are you? Good afternoon, ladies. I'm uh, Arnold, the agent, and I represent uh, Sir Christopher Kenneth uh, Biggins. And quite frankly, I'm appalled at the way you treated my client earlier, cutting him off in his prime like that. It's not our fault. It was the Wicked Queens. Well, I know it can be difficult, but there's no need for name-calling. 
I think you've got your wires crossed. We'd never upset Biggins. Delighted to hear it, sir. I'm sure we can work something out, if only so I can get my commission. With your bail client, do you take 15%? I take as much as I can, love. 15%? Hardly worth getting into bed for. I'll put Biggins through. Just make sure he's back home by five and keep him away from Sherry. Me or the drink? <laughs> Both, obviously. Ciao for now. Biggins, you're back. Please help us. The Wicked Queen has thwarted our wedding plans and we are so unhappy, but she's experiencing technical difficulties at the moment. And if anyone can help, it's only you. Please save the day. But of course, what is it you need? A ticket to the ball or a, a flying carpet or a, a mystical lamp or some magic beans or, or a golden egg? Hurry up, will you? I'm getting locked, you What we need is a million pounds. A million pounds? Yes. yes. It would be my pleasure. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you, Biggins. Biggins. Well, if you're dulling out the Dutch, could I have a million as well? Of course you can. Have two. Oh. Thank you, Biggins. <laughs> I don't understand. How are you able to be so generous? Please tell me you haven't done anything dodgy. Only the script, dear. Allow me to explain through the medium of a rhyming couplet. It's all above board. There is nothing fishy. I took the advice of Dowden and Rishi. Throughout all of lockdown to keep up my pecker, I retrained as Chancellor of the Exchequer. Money for all my friends. The cheques are in the post. Bye-bye, my darlings, and happy Christmas to you all. Oh! oh. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Gah! Curse is spoiled again. I knew I should have got super fast fiber broadband. Yes. And so, my good friends, it soon came to pass. Our two little lovebirds got married at last. A wedding of wonder, a day full of laughter, and they both lived happily ever after. <laughs> Bye, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. <laughs>